Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS TFL programming. In this video, we will take a look at the lesson which is talking about creation of a table which has descriptive statistics for two numeric variables. So this is in continuation with the previous lesson which was L201 for table general programming concepts. So in the previous lesson, we have seen how to create a descriptive statistics table when there is only one analysis variable. Earlier we have seen it for age and now we have a second analysis variable added which is baseline height in terms of centimeters. Let us take a look at the input data set that we will be using for this lesson. So we will be using our ADSL data set. We have data for five subjects and there are two analysis variables age and the second one is height BL and the treatment variable is TRT01P. So this example has an additional analysis variable uh, based on the previous data itself. So we had uh, one subject in dose level one and three sub four subjects in dose level three. So, but based on the report, we also had a dose level two as per the studies design, but we do not have any data available for dose level two in the sample data which we are using, but we will still have to create this column in the report and show the zero numbers. So now we will now move on to the program. So we'll quickly go through the entire program first and then move to the manual identification of how each individual data set gets created. So here in the first step, what we are trying to do here is subset the subjects who are part of full analysis set using a where statement and we are filtering where f a s f l is equal to y and in the next step what we are trying to do here is as we need to count a subject under each individual dose level and also the total column what we are trying to do here is replicate each subject with a total treatment so that each subject can be counted under individual treatment so when we are using this first output statement, the subject is being accounted for the individual dose level where the subject is randomized to. With the second output statement, what we are trying to do here is account that subject under total column. So a new row is being created with the treatment as total for each subject. And then this is the key step when compared to the previous code where we can make use of the previous code with minimal changes. So earlier there was only one analysis variable. So we have specified that directly on the where statement of proc summary. So, but here now we have two analysis variables. So instead of writing two analysis variables here, so when we use two analysis variables on the where statement, the code becomes a little cumbersome to maintain. So what for that purpose, what we do here is like create one variable for as an analysis variable, but create it into a single variable called result. So what we are trying to do here is create a identifier called group and group label of age years. And when we are trying to output it for age years, so we are putting the value of age into result variable and then outputting that record. So a record gets outputted twice, once with group is equal to one and the second time with group is equal to two. On the first instance, the result variable is being assigned with a value present in the age variable. So the same record gets outputted, but with group is equal to two, but in the result variable, the value from height BL is being assigned. The same record is outputted twice with the result is equal to age when group is equal to one and result is equal to height BL when group is equal to two. So with this structure, what we need to do is just alter the by group and we'll be able to reuse the exact code which we have used in the previous lesson, which is L201, wherein we only obtain the statistics for single numeric variable that was H. And then we created this format to indicate all the possible treatment levels based on the study design. So we have three dose levels and a total column. So we have created all four levels in the format. And then we use this format in our uh, proc summary, class variable treatment, preload FMT and the format statement we have used 
treatment format which we have created here for treatment variable so what preload fmt does is it's when we specify the preload fmt option it specifies to SAS that all formats are preloaded for the class variable so even if a dose level is not present in the data when it is present in the format that we have created it loads all the values and creates a level for that treatment even if it is absent in the data so one additional change when compared to the previous lesson that we made here is so we didn't have by statement with group or group label earlier we have obtained only statistic for one variable but here now we have two analysis variables within the result variable but the those vary based on the group or group label so we will clearly see when we are trying to process this manually in the data sets tab we'll see how this gets structured and then we are obtaining the statistics and into an output data set called stat01 using output statement and again we have used auto name is equal to option as the analysis variable is result the statistics gets created with the prefix of result underscore for example the n is equal to statistic will have a name of result underscore n and similarly for n miss the statistic variable will be result underscore n miss for mean it will be result underscore mean and similarly other statistic variables get created in the output data set called stat01 and we are making use of the stat01 data set as we get the statistics in numeric variable as numeric data type we are trying to temporarily create it into character format using conditional statements and then we here we are taking into account the number of decimals uh, precision that is required based on the statistic so for mean so we have seen in the previous lesson that it will generally be having a uh, rule of plus one decimal than in data so both age and height are present as in integers so we'll be presenting one additional decimal in mean when compared to the data so we are using a format of 5.1 while converting that into character format similarly we are converting all the other statistics into character format based on the appropriate format and put statement and then we are concatenating the statistics into a single value based on the shell requirement because we were we were supposed to present n and n miss on a single row mean and standard deviation on a single row q1 q3 as a single value min and max as a single value so we are concatenating that in this step and then we kept only the required variables the concatenated statistics and we just dropped the other single statistics after concatenation and then we also kept the group group label and treatment when this group and group label were not present in the previous lesson code because it was a single analysis variable we did not need the those variables and then we restructure the statistics such that they appear as rows now by using proc transpose we transpose the nn miss mean standard deviation median q1 q3 min max variable so that these which are present as columns is, are becoming rows and after that we created an internal order variable for the concatenated statistics to be sorted as per the shell requirement and then we also assigned the text label that has to be displayed as per the table shell requirement so till this point the treatments are appearing as rows but we need the treatments to be displayed as columns in the report so we were transposing the data again but using uh, the values in treatment variable as id so those values become the column names and then we kept only the final required variables and then is our proc report code so one additional step that is present here in this lesson when compared to the previous lesson is this compute after group line so why we have this group is when we had only one analysis variable there was no uh, segregation required between two groups so here we needed one blank line to be written after the 
each group so if we are considering age as first group and height as second group so we needed the blank line between a first group and second group so that we have achieved using this compute block so this is the only difference when compared to the previous proc report code now let us go to the data sets tab and try to manually identify what how this processing is happening so here we had our ADSL data set which had two analysis variables age and height PL so if you see in height PL so there are two subjects who has a missing value within dose level 3 so just make a note of it so we'll see in the final output otherwise we can take a quick look at the output now itself and see so in dose level 3 so n and missing statistic it has to be uh, so there are four subjects in dose level 3 so two subjects have data in height pl and two subjects have missing so it will be two and two in dose level 3 column for height statistic so if you see there are two subjects with data available for height BL and two subjects without it for height BL. So similar, but for age variable, we have seen in the previous lesson also that three subjects had data for age and one subject had it missing. So we can cross check that now also. So dose level three, there are four records. Out of the four records, one subject did not have age value. So number of subjects with non-missing data, which is small n, is three, and n miss is number of subjects with missing data which is one so that's why we had it as three and one so now let us come back to the data sets and see so in the second step what we have done is filtered the rows wherein fasfl is equal to y as all the subjects had fasfl is equal to y our adsl one will be a copy of adsl after the processing and then in ADSL 02 step, what we did was created this treatment and treatment C variables. And we have replicated each row. Say for example, for subject 1001, we had one row in the input data set. On the first instance of output statement, we use the value from TRT01 PN and P for treatment and treatment C. So which is 1, 1 and dose level 1 is being carried forward from TRT01P to treatment C. But uh, the same record is being outputted second time, but with a value of 4 in treatment variable and total in treatment C variable. So this way we are according the same subject under the uh, initial dose level where he is randomized to and we are accounting that subject under total column. So each subject is now being accounted under total column with this output statement. So we had five records in the input data set. Now we'll have 10 records. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So there will be five total columns and five original rows with the dose levels where they were assigned to. And then this was the key step when compared to the previous lesson wherein we created this ADSL 03. So in ADSL 03, what we did was we created this result variable. So we are replicating each record present in ADSL 02 twice. Once with the value of group is equal to 1. When we have replicated outputted the record with group is equal to 1. So we have assigned the value from age variable if you see to the result variable. The first instance when we were outputting the record with group is equal to 1, we use the value of age variable in the result variable. So it is 1 and 23. But we have outputted the same record second time but with a value of 2 in the group variable and height centimeter and group label. But when we were outputting this second time with group is equal to 2, we use the value from height variable or height BL variable into the result variable. So each record has now become two records, but on the first instance, so where group is equal to one, the result has age value. And the second instance where group is equal to two, result has height value. So now we have fetched the analysis values into a single variable, but we have distinct, or we have separated it based on the values present in 
group variable so group 1 corresponds to age and group 2 corresponds to height now in the next step we have so adsl 01 is a sorted version of adsl 03 so there will be no change apart from the order change in this data set and then we used our proc summary to uh, get the statistics so we have added group and group label to the by statement so that we wanted a separate summary to be created for group label is equal to age years and group label is equal to height centimeter so for the result variable as we have included group and group label in the by statement the result statistics for these rows correspond to the age statistic and group is equal to two statistics correspond to the statistics for height bl so if we do not uh, use this concept of outputting the records we would have to replicate the stat 01 step twice and then append it so but as we can make use of this output logic i have used it here in this case and then in stat 02 we have concatenated the statistics and converted them into character and then created single columns and then in stat 03 we have only kept the required variables which were having the concatenated values and then transposed such that these statistics which are present as columns to be appearing as rows and then we created this internal order variable and also the statistical display label here and then as treatments are present here as rows but as we need these as columns we used a transpose step in the next step and then got the table restructured we got the table restructure to have all four treatments as columns and then we kept the final record uh, final data set with only the required variables and generated the report output so we have seen that for height there were two subjects with missing value non missing result and two subjects with uh, missing height value in dose level 3 so we have the same thing replicated in the output so this is how we can elaborate the previous code and create it for two numeric variables the same thing can be extended even if we have more than two analysis variables the only thing that gets changed from this is say for example if we have a third variable called weight third analysis variable so all we need to do is add the piece of code which says group is equal to three and then group label weight maybe if we are assuming that unit is kg we can just add that here and output it again with a result value coming from weight pl in that group is equal to three assignment and the rest of the code still remains the same and no downstream uh, change will be needed if we use this approach thank you for watching keep learning